Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My book, Adhesion Science, Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Adhesion website. In this video, we look at an app showing that the simple lap shear test is neither simple nor largely about shear. Continuing our theme that adhesion is a property of the system, we'll now look at the lap joint. This seems to be very simple. We have a force F pulling the lap joint apart in a pure shear direction. You've got a thickness of adhesive H2, you've got a thickness of the adherent H1, you've got an overlap length L and you're applying this force. So all you need to know is the pure shear force needed to rip this joint apart. But it's not that simple. Although we might think we're applying pure shear force, when you do this in a lap joint, you actually bend the joint, so you are starting to impose some peel. And the peel forces are concentrated at this critical part of the joint. There is a Kendall model for a simple lap joint that was discussed earlier, but we'll concentrate on the famous Goland Reisner algorithm for examining a quote simple unquote lap joint. So we have an adherent, the things you're sticking together, which has a nice high modulus, 25 gigapascals. It's two millimeters thick. And then we have an adhesive, and this isn't bad as an adhesive, it has half a gigapascal as a modulus, and we've just got 70 microns of it. And a decent thick wadge of adhesive to hold this lap joint together. The joint is 25 millimeters thick, and the length of the joint, the overlap, is 10 millimeters. And we're imposing a force of 10 kilonewtons, because we can. So what forces do we have? Remember, we are applying nominally a pure shear force. But here's the shear force, and it's sort of something like 100 uh, megapascals going down to 20 megapascals. But the peel force is actually going up 228 megapascals. So at the ends, we have more peel than we do shear. And what's happening in the middle? Well, the peel stress is negative. It's as we saw with the peel app, you actually get a compression. So let's increase the length a little bit. And then we see something odd. The stress in the middle is zero. So it means that this adhesive here is doing nothing against peel. It's just not experiencing any forces. And that's one of the first lessons of the Golan Reisner app and about lap joints. The force needed to pull a lap joint apart does not really depend at all on the length of the overlap. So I have here uh, going up to 90 megapascals, if I've got 21 millimeters overlap, it still goes the same, more or less, 90 megapascals, until I'm down to 13 millimeters. Now, when you have a very small overlap, then it starts to make a difference. But above a certain value, there are no peel forces in the center, so that glue is doing nothing. And indeed, if you just omit the glue altogether in the center of a lap joint, it makes no difference at all to its failure strength. OK. So we're not idiots. We want a really strong lap joint. So let's have a strong adhesive. And we see the problem that we saw in the peel. Yes, it's great to have this strong adhesive, but look what's happened to the stresses at the ends. They've now gone up very high. So if we have a very weak adhesive, the stresses are dissipated over a much larger distance and therefore the concentration of the stress is much less. So, stronger can mean weaker. What happens when we change the thickness? Well, let's go to a thin layer, and that really is concentrating the forces. So in the case of a lap joint, a decent thickness does actually help dissipate the stresses. So that's fine. What happens if I increase the thickness of the adherent? Changes the distribution throughout the lap joint. So again, 
you have to be careful that something which you thought was okay at one thickness might be very different at another thickness. So the lesson is that a typical lap shear joint does not mostly depend on shear for its failure. It will generally fail in peel. Those peel forces depend not much on the length of the overlap. They depend strongly on the thickness of the adhesive, on the modulus of the adhesive, and a high modulus adhesive is actually worse. Of course, that'll stop it creeping over time. That's a different issue. So adhesion is a property of the system. A lap shear joint is a very complicated system, and therefore the adhesion in a lap joint has to be analysed in this complicated manner with something like Golan-Reisner or proper finite element analysis.